Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster, and if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here We tonight. would be talking about a one-round fight because right. there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab, the head movement. It's never on a line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle. He's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot yeah. to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Some oh, people dude. think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Ladies Buffer. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 174 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, You build my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the doctor. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Landing at a pretty decent clip. Oh! And now he lands a combination. Nice kick. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a point fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter. <laughs> Head kick, 
Bryant. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Again, back into this position. Back and forth we go. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his chin into his opponent. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Kick lands and he's hurt. Great subversity in his attack. Nice elbow for the punch. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Not there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Trying to get the knees going. Try to establish that jab. Got clip with the right hand. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, collar tie. Immediately gets the underhook. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Pretty good right hand. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Blocks that strike. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he comes through with a big knee. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Anik. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Round two is next. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. Missing on the uppercut there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big head kick!
nice straight punch. Oh, big head to land. Oh, single collar tie here. Real quick leg kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! He's hurt bad. Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. That was lightning fast, that right end. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And he landed the right hand there. Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He is really oh! Certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes too with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.